Okay, we are going to do a tour of the house. As you can see, it's been a lot of work done since the last time we recorded. Um, this is the new driveway. We had a complete new foundation poured with footings that have now been covered. Uh, this is garage number one, garage number two, and garage number three. Um, that is the bonus room, and those are actually uh, already the framing of the three dormers. One centered above each of uh, the garage. What we're doing is uh, in the garage, we're going to have a secondary staircase which will actually be uh, by code 36 inches wide. We'll come up here, they use a uh, copper flashing as you can see, which doesn't degrade um, against the concrete. This is the opening that's already been partially framed. And then uh, coming around, these are, are the front garage windows. They're actually a little bigger than uh, what you see currently. It's got to be uh, cut away. This is now coming up on the main house. Uh, the last time we shot it, only half or about a little more than a third of the house was framed. Now they finished pouring uh, the, the brand new foundation and there is a pretty decent sized crawl space that's under there but uh, as Bob Velas would say this old house we're going to uh, take a walk in and check on Norm the plumber uh, Norm's not really here but uh, this is the uh, mudroom this is right in here the second room, which is uh, essentially the uh, pantry, which I just walked through. These are the uh, kitchen windows. I apologize, but this uh, iPad doesn't allow me to uh, focus out enough. It's kind of like that. But anyway, so you'll come in there. That's the kitchen. Not a huge kitchen but an okay sized kitchen with a small island we're going to put in the middle. Um, this room though that it opens up to is a little bigger. It's going to be the main dining area. It will have uh, two French doors which we're actually redoing this back wall because we really want uh, seven foot uh, French doors opening and we also want them uh, perfectly centered so the new line of the center of them is actually uh, right here so and it's going to be uh, 30 inches in between on each this is the uh, basement the staircase is not in yet um, you will not be able to see it but there's a whole new uh, crawl space that's down there underneath about uh, 36 inches, 40 inches. This is the main room uh, where this blue thing is right behind it, right there. We're going to be putting in a new high efficiency fireplace. Um, right over here is uh, the library room which will also have French doors. This is the guest uh, suite it's, uh, for Kropfather. It's got uh, three windows in it. That's Baby Eloise's uh, stroller. There'll be a walk-in closet down here. So this will be a separate uh, guest suite for all our European visitors and other visitors. Like my uh, still single friends from high school and college, I guess. Or at least college. We're going to take a walk up on the ladder. This will be uh, remain opening. Um, right there is where the staircase off of the front of the house, which we'll see better in a second, but I'll kill myself going up this ladder. Um, hold on one second. Getting there, getting there. Getting there. Uh, so, we're on the second floor. 
So that is the entrance to the house. Above the main entrance, there's uh, double windows to allow in light. It will come up uh, with a wide opening the whole way. There will be um, railing right uh, along here. And then the stairs will uh, come up right here uh, uh, over to this side where there's a couple of planks right now. Um, as we walk up the stairs, we'll make a left. Uh, this is the master suite. This is uh, Halcha's new closet. It's the woman of the house closet. This is the man of the house closet. And this is the master bedroom, which uh, essentially has three windows, one, two, and then a back window. This is going to be the um, door to the master bath. Uh, some of the rough plumbing has already been started, so the shower is there, the bathtub will go in that corner. Um, back in that corner is a small wall you can see with um, the actual rough plumbing for the um, toilet. And there is the rough plumbing already for the uh, sink to the house. And I don't know, they ran some stuff up. Uh, you can see that here there's going to be a tray ceiling to bring the ceiling from 8 to 9 feet uh, approximately in the master suite. Uh, I guess you can kind of see that. And now we're going to walk to the uh, south wing of the house. This is going to probably be baby Eloise's, Eloise's uh, bedroom. It's got one, two windows. Uh, there's also going to be a walk-in closet for her uh, right here. And then on the other side, you'll see in a moment the entrance to Sebastian's bathroom. The kids are going to share a hallway bathroom here, which uh, actually, uh, it's hard to see, I apologize, but there's uh, going to be a big hallway, L-shaped hallway window. There's another window here. There's going to be a sink uh, right here, which is a very open plan. We kind of stole from a hotel rooms. And then um, here, there's going to be a bathtub. And over here will be a toilet. So the bathroom for the kids is actually you know, somewhat separate. This is Sebastian's bedroom. And as I said, uh, that's going to be his closet right in there. Really need a smaller, something with less of a wide angle, I think. But uh, anyway, we'll walk out here. This is the upstairs uh, laundry room. It's uh, approximately five feet across, which we were told 30 inches for each is plenty for the washer dryer side by side. Um, this is the beginning of the front gable, which is being swung on this uh, above the garage this way. These are the dormers we saw a couple of minutes ago. There's uh, three different dormers, and that is the opening of where the rear. Uh, staircase, secondary staircase will be coming in. Um, and now uh, we can take a walk up the next level to the attic. And by the way, we're going to be getting something called a Bessler pull down staircase. There's a whole story behind that, but it's the Model 70 Bessler pull down staircase, which is non folding, straight, made by a company in Tennessee. And uh, Hopefully I don't get killed since I just cut my hand. Coming up here to the attic level. And as you can see, this is uh, where the chimney is coming in. Um, this is the framing of the attic. Um, we can see out here the uh, next level of... Uh, where you have the um, above the garage. This is uh, just one side window here out of the attic and it's uh, absolutely huge. I, I don't know how wide it is, but it feels like a mini football field up here. 
Um, but here's the other half for the um, master bedroom that we saw before. This is where it uh, comes up with the tray ceiling. I think they closed this in. Yeah, this is all covered up for the rain. But uh, essentially looking out, this is what you see. This is essentially all of the, uh, whatever you call them, the attic beams. And with that, I'm at 10 minutes and 46 seconds, but uh, you can see that we're approaching the uh, level of the trees. We're pretty high up. We're, the, the top of the house is actually about 32 to 33 feet um, at the peak here. And this will be the view which you won't be able to see from the attic, but uh, there's our backyard. There's the uh, pool way back there, about 44 feet by 20 feet, and it's closed for the winter. That's uh, the red shed that Helena wants to get rid of, and uh, as you can see, the uh, property in the woods go back. It's approximately uh, almost a one and a half acre lot, and that is all. So that is uh, all of our bluestone, which we hope to reuse. And uh, signing off, beautiful fall day, and we'll just end with uh, the picturesque backyard. Bye.